Good evening, everyone. Frank Love coming at you. It's definitely been an interesting week in wrestling as there are uh, three prominent deaths in regard to the business. Uh, started off with Mike Follis of Atlas Security. Most original ECW fans would remember him as one of the security guys. Um, real nice guy. Uh, he also had worked more recently in the new ECW as well as as of last TNA. Um, real nice guy, and it's definitely a big loss, you know, for this business losing a guy like him. You know, in the original ECW, he he was one of those guys that you know pretty much protected all the wrestlers, all the boys in the back, you know. Because let me tell you something. You know, in that origin, original ECW, you definitely needed security, and he was one of those guys that just, you know, did his job and had no problem doing it. Um, we also lost uh, BJ Race, uh, wife of legendary uh, Harley Race, and definitely the biggest one of all is uh, that of Captain Lou Albano. Um... I got to meet Lou for the first time at a convention in 1992. Yeah. And, um, interesting note with that, I went up to him and I said, Hey, Lou, hey, you know, I introduced myself and I was like, You know, if it wasn't for your family, I may not be here today. And when he questioned me on that, my answer to him was, uh, oh, See, your father delivered my mother. See, Captain Lou's father was a doctor my grandmother's doctor more specific and like I said he his father delivered my mother you know and I always thought that was uh, pretty cool um, Lou was definitely you know a major part of this business especially in the 80's um, being a part of the whole change if you will in the business you know with the whole rock and wrestling connection you know going up with Cindy Lauper and all that stuff, you know, even Ozzy Osbourne at WrestleMania 2, you gotta remember that one, that was pretty cool too, um, you know, great manager, when he was a heel, probably one of the greatest heels, you know, he was an all-around genuine guy that, you know, when he was a bad guy, you know, people wanted to kill him. And, you know, for a guy to be able to do that to people, it just shows how much of a talent he really was and, you know, what he was able to do. I mean, you go from a guy that you wanted to kill in the 70s to a guy you loved in the 80s. I mean, this, he took so many prominent tag teams to championship gold. I mean, it's just insane. And his business is never going to be the same without him. I mean, this business lost one hell of a manager, probably one of the top managers ever. You know, I'm not taking an, anything away from guys like, you know, Jimmy Hart, Bobby the Brain Heenan, but Lou was just so much different than all of them, you know. Lou is special, and it's a shame he's gone, and, you know, hopefully on Raw... And even on SmackDown, WWE will do a nice tribute to him because you know he was in, he's in you know he's a WWE Hall of Famer, and they definitely got probably a lot of good footage that they could use for him. Um, you know, Lou was laid to rest yesterday in Carmel, New York. Saturday night, you know, Saturday afternoon, the uh, week was Friday. Mass and funeral yesterday, and I gotta say, you know, it, it's a real shame. Um, you know, when I first heard last week on, uh, I believe it was Monday that, uh, he was in hospice at home, you know, it, it, it really hit home, you know, it's a shame because, you know, the whole hospice thing is just a bad situation in general, you know, and I'm just, oh, I just want to say I'm going to miss a guy who was probably one of the he was, like I said, you know, he was an all-around genuine great guy, and, uh, he's gonna be missed. I know I'm gonna miss him. I'm Frankie Love, I'm out. Y'all have a great night. Peace.